morning guys welcome back to savage gaming with me teddy and for this video we are going to play wolf game the wild kingdom so for this video we are going to check out the different campaigns for this game they have a one time only campaign so it means that this is like the storyline once you finish a chapter you go to another one and the prices or the items rather the rewards are first clear basis only and then they also have a weekly event for this campaign and at the same time they also have a bi-weekly event that is actually an alliance versus alliance event and as of august 25 2022 this game is now available to download via the is app store as well as the google play store for those who are interested or curious to check out this game you can use the link on the description box below or the comment section of this video and at the same time before we go check out the campaign i'm going to show you the new feature that they have added for this game they have this uh race or grow a wolf feature and you can click that or you can see that via the home button and there you are going to feed you are going to play you are going to literally raise a wolf so of course like how you take care of your kids or how you take care of your pets this uh virtual pet requires attention so for it to grow for the wolf to grow you need to feed it you need to play with it you need to show some tender loving care depends on how you raise your wolf your attributes will grow as well so you have the speed you have the strength you have the endurance as well as the intelligence and then the spirit so every day you just need to feed play or pat your wolf so that it will grow faster and every time your wolf uh, levels up or grow or girl will level you are going to get corresponding rewards for that also the good thing about this new feature is you can also change the name of your wolf so you can rename the wolf whatever you want to name your wolf so this game got three different campaigns at the moment that is the adventure where you are going to clear each level there will be 18 levels in total and this does not reset so if this is pretty similar like the battle pass but it doesn't reset every season and or some of the introductory campaigns or storyline of the game this is pretty similar to that all you get to do is to challenge kill uh, animals other animals in the wild and get an equivalent or complete all the tasks for example uh, save the bears kill animals or get some treasure and other things like that and once you complete it you are going to get corresponding rewards just a reminder guys that the rewards that you are going to get here are the first clear rewards only so even if you repeat it multiple times the only rewards that you are going to get is the first clear rewards Another thing is that the amount or the strength of your wolf pack is determined by the amount or number of your troops as well as your capacity. So the default as well, the default um, type of wolf that you're going to get here is dependent on the system too. You can actually change whatever you prefer, but for me, I just chose the recommended uh, pack that I'm going to use as well as the heroes or the wolves that I'm going to add along with the other troops. So like I said, in campaign, all you get to do, this is like a storyline. So you need to clear one level first, the first uh, level for you to be able to proceed to the next level. And every time you clear one level or one storyline, you are going to get corresponding rewards. The next campaign that you can play in the wolf game is the hero trial. So this is a weekly event where you can uh, clear up to level 20. So each of these level get a time for you to be able to clear that level. And also at the same time for each level, you will be able to get some runes where you can use those runes on in the pack that are using there and it will reset after you clear one level. Aside from the timer, you also need to remember that this event is dependent on the stamina as well. So if you are going to play this uh, event with low stamina, the rewards will also drop. So make sure to watch your stamina before you start playing this event. 
The mechanics for the hero trial is to kill three packs of wolves and the packs of wolves is dependent as the amount of wolves per pack varies from either 2,000 to 3,000 or 4,000 depending on what level you are clearing. And at the same time, you need to clear all these wolves before they kill all of your packs and at the same time, you need to clear or kill all of them before the timer ends. However, unlike the adventure rewards where you get a universal first a clear rewards for all players. So when I say universal, all the rewards, every time they clear a level in adventure, all the players will get the same rewards. And this very only depends on the stamina or how much stamina they have because the less stamina you have, the less rewards you will get. However, in the hero trial, you are going to compete in ranking with other players so the rewards that you are going to get is dependent on what rank you are for that week and make sure that the rule for this is that of course the shorter the time you spent in clearing as well as the higher the level of the trial the higher your rank it's pretty easy like that Aside from the ranking rewards, you can also buy some of the items via the trial shop but using your coins. So you get these coins, like I said, for every time you clear a level, you get corresponding coins for that. And you can use these coins to purchase, um, for example, runes, speed ups, as well as resources in the trial shop. Last but not the least in their campaign is the Winter's War Beta. But then, unfortunately, I don't have any screens or slideshows to show you. It's because my alliance is below top 20. So the rule for this event is only top 20 in your state are allowed to register for the event. And the mechanics for that, this is an alliance versus alliance fight. Of course, whoever wins will get rewards. And for sure, I'm not really sure if what is the rules for the other part of that. However, maybe soon if there is a chance that I can get top 20 alliance or my alliance is going to be more competitive and go to the leaderboard, we might be able to play the Winter's War beta. This is pretty much similar to other games like a state versus state for other ones, but this one is alliance versus alliance. Aside from the campaigns, there are also other events where you can play or utilize in Wolf games. So for example, you have different tasks for your dailies, they have special events, and one of them, of course, is the Against Time. For the Against Time, the mechanics for this is you have 6 minutes to kill as many animals in the wilderness. Aside from the 6 minutes, you only have 3 chances to do this and of course the higher the level of the animals that you're going to kill the more points you get and for every points that you collect so for example you like 400 800 1400 and so on and so forth this is also corresponding to the chest that you can open once you reach those respective points aside from the points and the chest that you're going to get you can also get additional rewards by ranking up so, of course, if you're stronger, if you're a spender, if you have more troops, if you have higher quality of troops so that you can kill higher level of animals, then for sure you are going to get more chances or more points. In my case, my throne is only level 16 and I don't have a lot of troops yet because I've waited to get my troops to tier 3 for me to be able to start training them. Uh, this is basically how I play my games. I don't really mass train the lower levels or tier levels of troops or because I normally wait for the other tier level to open before I'll get or do an auto train. The reason for this is instead of wasting my resources as well as my speed ups for lower stats troops, I might as well just wait for higher troops and use all my speed ups and my resources there. Also at the same time, in an early game, if the game is very chaotic and a lot of players are into PvP, this will also uh, help you get away from danger 
Because of course, if you don't have a lot of resources and at the same time, if you don't have a lot of troops, you are likely not going to be attacked by other players. So because in most PvP game, the rule or what gets to the attention of people who like to attack other settlements or thrones are only two things. First, if you have decent amount of troops that they can actually wipe out and the second one if you have a lot of resources in your settlement or throne all right so that's it for today guys and as i progress on this game and as i progress and learn about this game i will be sharing you more about the tricks and tips as well as the coverage of other events as well as the mechanics or the details of this game at the moment i'm still a noob or a newbie in this game so i'm trying my best to learn the game as fast as i can before they officially launch this and at the same time uh learn the pvp side of this game i'm going to see you in my next video guys and have a good day bye